DJ, you've had Twitter for a while. You're fairly new to Instagram. You ready to check out some of your top posts? Let's do it. First one, big time fisherman or what? It's a pretty big sturgeon. <laughs> yeah, that was right after the season. Forget what year, but my uncle, big fisherman in uh, British Columbia. Did some sturgeon fishing. That was one of uh, maybe four or five we caught that day. Wow, so you catch big ones like this pretty often? Yeah, actually, uh, he was like, ah, oh, you caught the smallest one I've, I've seen in here for a while, so. But I thought it was pretty big, so cool. James Paxton, he's from Canada, and he goes fishing a lot, too, and catches the sturgeon, so I could see you guys out there one day together. That'd be awesome. Yeah, that'd be pretty cool. Kind of like you and Charlie Blackman, old teammate. Yeah. <laughs> Trying to think, yeah, it was another off-season striper fishing in Georgia. Besides waking up at four in the morning, it's a pretty fun day. <laughs> yeah, he was ready, that's for sure. I was kind of jealous, I was freezing that morning. You're a great teammate, I'm sure he was too. Take us back to this moment. What was going on? This is probably one of your most viral photos online. Yeah, so me and Charlie, we worked out together in the off-season. He called me, of course I was running late for workout, and I had just left home, and he was way ahead of me. He called me, said, hey Deej, I'm on the side of the road. All right, all right, what do you got? Ran out of gas. So I picked him up on the side of the road and we went and got gas. And when he was putting the gas, I just, I couldn't resist not taking a picture <laughs> at that moment on the side of the road. Was that when you realized the power of social media? How you saw this literally everywhere? I would say so, yeah, because I got questions about that for like two years. Uh. And still talking about it. So <laughs> <laughs> Probably will be for another 10 years. <laughs> yeah. And of course, he's got his old Jeep from high school still and his protein shape. Just, you know, vintage Charlie right there. So, this photo right here, one of your teammates when you were on the Rockies and now obviously with the New York Yankees, Adam Adovino took this inside the clubhouse. You playing chess. We had a chess club back then. Yeah, a little chess club. We had some battles. Yeah, we had some, we had some battles for sure. I feel like you'd have a really good poker face. Like, it'd be tough to kind of read you <laughs> doing like anything, but especially chess. I don't think I do. <laughs> no? Nah, I feel like I'm giving everything <laughs> away all the time. <laughs> the next one, also from Adam Adovino's feed, a little archery action. Yeah, we had a yeah, archery competition in spring training a couple of years ago. I was volunteered. I think I got third, three out of four. So, there's a 100 yard one. I hit the 100-yard one, so I, really my day was made. Oh, cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What else you do? Video games. Oh, sweet. A lot of video games. Which are some of your favorite video games that you've been playing? Sports games. Okay. Yeah, FIFA, NHL, Madden. That's got to be the most consistent, best video game out there, NHL. I agree. It's probably played when you are younger, right? I agree. Big time LSU guy, and here you got a chance to be on the field with some of your former teammates and LSU alumni. Yeah, as our LSU coach right there. Came down, wanted to see the LSU guys. Comes to, you know, a game or two every year. And uh, he does a really good job, you know, following us. And, and I think Will Harris lives down there in Baton Rouge, so he sees Coach Maneri a lot. And me and Bregman are down there every once in a while, so. Okay. But yeah, it's good uh, keeping in touch with those guys for sure. All right, here's a cool throwback. You, Little League, Yankees uniform. It's pretty wild, huh, looking back? Yeah, that's pretty cool. I was uh, living in Las Vegas, so I was probably nine or 10 years old mm -hmm. then, not knowing what the heck I'm doing, but I thought it was cool being a Yankee. I was like, yeah, a Yankee, that's, a, that's definitely the coolest jersey in the league. Now looking back on it, it's pretty cool. Yeah, and now looking at this photo right here, here you are in the actual pinstripes. Spring training was pretty cool, you know, putting on the NY for the first time, so pretty cool. You got the cool shades. We haven't really <laughs> seen anybody rock them since Bernie Williams like that. So it's cool that you pulled that off really well. Thanks, thank you. All right, you also pulled this look off really well too. The jumpsuits that you guys were wearing in London. Yeah, those are sweet. Yeah, I'm probably wearing that a lot in the off season. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, those are cool. You also have a pretty cool kick game. Got some fresh Johnson Murphys right here. Honestly, those are probably the, my best shoes I have. I'm not a huge uh, shoe guy, but uh, I still wear some of those. That was nice, they sent me some. That was nice of them. So I you're... had to show them some love. All right, yeah. so you're quality over quantity. I think so. I don't know. My wife says I have to start getting rid of some, but I'd like to think I have <laughs> quality over quantity. This was your first Instagram post, posting in the Yankees gear. Yes. Like I said before, wearing the NY is pretty special. For the first time, obviously really special, but still is, so it was pretty cool. Now, what made you get onto the platform? Honestly, because I'm off of Twitter now, really. You know, all my buddies at home are like, you gotta get on Instagram, that's, that's, that's the new thing. 
And I like the pictures. I like seeing like the like teammates like pictures and stuff. Just enjoy following it more on Twitter. Well, it seems like you picked a great time because as we see in this final photo, 2019 first year with the Yankees, you make the all-star team. Great photo of you and your wife. That was just a fun couple of days. I had a lot of buddies there, my wife, her family, and my parents, so it was just a fun, fun couple of days. And if we zoom in, I think those are the, those are the same ones. kicks, right? Yep, same ones. Yep. Love it. What would you say is your favorite part about social media? I just think like after a big win or something, you know, everyone's posting about it or, you know, like the London trip. I just, I just enjoy seeing teammates post. And I like watching like baseball clips in general. So mm -hmm. that's probably my favorite part. All right, like Pitching Ninja and all those guys out there? I mean, I don't really want to see nasty pitches. <laughs> yeah, sure. So, but you can hit them, so that's good. Uh, <laughs> I'd rather not watch nasty pitches all the time, but I like watching the homers. <laughs> you are definitely a very humble guy, but now is the time for the plug. We do this with everybody. Why should somebody follow you, and what do you have to offer? I, you know, I don't bring anything too unique, but I'm going to continue to get better at my social media game. So I'm going to try to keep improving, try to post a little bit more. Awesome. Well, everybody keep an eye out. Throw them a follow. I'm sure you're going to be posting some good stuff soon. Thank you.